welcome to episode 23 of Foot Manager 2014 with Aston Villa. Join me back here on 1st October 2022. And oh, thank God, we're finally back. Finally back to being kind of on time, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're finally back to live commentaries and maybe monthly or bi-monthly updates. I can finally start playing the save again, which I've really started to miss. Because I, I love playing the save. Because um, Villa are a team close to my heart, so... Yeah, it's always nice to play with a team that you, you like to support. Anyway, I'm just not going to fool around. You saw the transfers in the last episode. If you um, didn't... I'd propose you go back and watch the last episode then, because... What's happening here? There we go. Um, because it did show the transfers in a bit of detail. And so we'll just breathe over pre-season quickly. We do 3-3 with Victoria Pilsen. Beat Fradak Krilov 2-1. We beat Leverkusen 2-0. We beat Frankfurt 1-0. We beat Ajax 2-0. We beat Pass and Icos 5-3. And we beat Burton Albion 6-0. Bloody hell, that was a good result. Anyway, started off the Premier League with a 4-0 defeat to Man U. Not great, not great at all. Play, we had to play in the Euro, uh, Europa League playoff because we only got into the Europa League through the Capital One Cup. So we had to play in that. Anyway, we won 2-0. Ania Fernix getting 2. Drew 2-2 at home to Reading. Um, Fernix, and I believe it was an own goal. I think it was. Yeah, my own goal. Rourke missed a penalty, though, which is disappointing. Beat FH 5-0 in the second leg. Lemos with two, Fernix, Kumari, and Rourke. Lost 2-0 to Newcastle away from home. Finally managed to pick up a win in the league with a 1-0 win over Barnsley. Gonzalo Lemos with the goal. Started off our Europa League group stage campaign with a 2-1 win over BAT, BAT Barisov, Bate Barisov, Adriossi and Gabi Dini. Beat Swansea 2-0 in the league, he's and in Fernix. Beat Northampton in the Cavalier Cup third round 4-1. Gory with two, Driossi and Fernix. Lost 2-1 to West Ham in the league. Casasola and drew 0-0 with Pauk, last but not least. Holgerson with the sending off. So we play Leeds today, and we're stri slightly struggling in the league, even though it's early on, 15th place. But you've seen how we've been doing, and I really want to push start pushing for Champions League, because we've been in the Europa League now for two or three seasons, we've won the Europa League, so I really feel we need to step up in that transfer, transfer, that Champions League berth, so we need to start um, propelling ourselves forward. And we'll get into the game today against Leeds, who are 19th, only picked up two points so far this season, although we haven't been on a great record ourselves, so, and we're actually going to quick pick, see what the assistant recommends. And we will definitely take this into consideration. We're actually going to play a Rook today in there ahead of Driossi because Driossi is tired. And uh, Rook is a shadow striker. Lozano plays Holgerson, Lemos, Kumari, Gutierrez, Keskin, Hughes, Hubane, O'Rourke, Fernix, and Gabbiadini. So I think I'm going to go for that, and we are we're going to head into the game here at Ellen Road. Against them, who are playing just an orthodox 4-4-2. Yeah, nothing too special from them compared to our kind of fairly complex formation of 2-3-2-3-2-1-2. Two, three, two, three, two, two. That's it. Lakovic there, Holgerson, isn't letting it past him. Flanagan, though, finds to Santos. Flanagan, Woodrow, O'Rourke, there, the poor enough. Kane, Kamari away. 1% of the ball so far, yes. <laughs> Here's Hughes, though, finds Holgerson on this left hand flank, beats a man. Good ball in, but falls to Hubane. Hits it over, that's an extended. You actually know, like, I don't know why it dropped there to extend it, but you actually know when it's an extended highlight, you know, those ones that aren't, like, it's not hit the bar or it goes close or something like that. Just know then it's not, it's obviously not a key highlight. There's Brady there, good save. Oh my god, how many bites of the cherry did we let them have? Round three, Robbie Brady finally scoring. 
Um, he had a shot, Gutierrez saved it. Kane had another shot, Gutierrez saved it. And I think it's Lozano who just um, goes to sleep here and lets Brady in. To give them a 1 0 lead and very disappointing so far for ourselves. And we really need to wake up. Oh my god, because Robbie Brady scored a second. God. I really <laughs> wish I. I didn't go back to uh, recording episodes now. Robbie Brady just piles that one home. From we could do the goal here, Kamari Lemos. There we go, Gonzalo Lemos getting one back. That is a key, key goal. It gives us just this, um, just a hint back into this game. Just means that we're not completely out of this game. We can still come back and grab a draw in the second half, or possibly even if we get on a if we start to really sort ourselves out, go on and win this game still. As it is still a very winnable game. But we have to make sure we um, express our disappointment to the team so far. Hubei not playing well. 6.2 for him today. Not too good. But we're going to let it slide for now. See how he copes at around the hour mark. Gabbiadini. I'm really struggling with Gabbiadini at the moment. He had a very good season last year, but... He's only scored one goal in all competitions this year, but that's a good ball. <gasps> Hughes! Hughes! How many chances do you want, Will? That is a chance you just have to take in this situation. And the captain, Will Hughes, spurns the opportunity in scoring. Here's Fernix now, though. Our best, One of our best players. Oh, what a ball! Hubane! It's all over. It's a superb comeback from Aston Villa. It, the Leeds resistance is all over. Fernix there, just fantastic play, and then feeds in Hubane, who just slots that one home. No bother whatsoever for Hubane. First of the season for him. And Fernix there, turning provider today. Um, he actually does a lot of providing rather than scoring. He's not that typical goal scorer striker. He's more of a. Um, like, because he can play attacking mid as well, I don't know whether he's just a bit more influenced to be in it more of an assist sort of guy rather than a goal scorer, but I'm happy with either. As long as he's contributing to ourselves scoring goals, I do not really mind how it's coming about. Here's Hughes. Gabby Dini's in behind. See, that's what I mean. That is what I mean. Those are sort of chances you just must take, and we're actually going to take them off for that. That is just not acceptable. We're going to bring on Issa Ndai. I have to say, hasn't been uh, much better um, with his fortunes in front of goal. Uh, lately. We're just gonna... Oh no, O'Rourke, chance maybe. And I? Someone put it in? Yes! There it is! Kumari's put it in, I think. And I believe that is the complete turnaround here. 2-0 down. I thought he was all gone to loss with Robbie Brady bagging himself a double, but Lemos scored, then Hubain, and now Adama Kumari. So both centre-backs, plus a se the, one of the centre-mids, has put in a goal today. And we now do lead against Leeds. And as you can see from the match stats, it, it is actually deserved. Um, although they've got a late chance here, possibly O'Neill. Oh, don't. Don't even dare give them one of those just complete route one goals. If they score a good goal, fair play, but here they go. O'Neill, Brady. Here they come. Oh, Keskin, get rid. Get. Oh, God. Get rid. Come on. Oh, oh, oh no, no, oh, right hit the crossbar, would you believe it, what a chance for Leeds there to sneak a last minute goal, but they couldn't do it, and that has cost them the game, as we come away with the game with a 3-2 victory, and that probably shows you why Leeds are down there in that sort of relegation zone, because they cannot hold on, because <coughs> they failed, they failed to uh, hold on to a 2-0 lead today. Um, and not only have they drawn the game, but they've gone to lose the game. That is really unacceptable, especially at home. Um, showing maybe a slight lack of quality from Leeds uh, against a more of a quality team in ourselves. As you can see from the t league table there, we have jumped up to 13th. Next live commentary will be Derby away from home. That's in a while. We've got in between then and now we've got Bolton, FC Norgeland, Fulham, Derby in the Capital One Cup, Spurs, Norgeland, Stoke, Charlton, Bate, 
Man City, Southampton, and then the Derby game. So I will see you guys back then. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, for now back to live commentaries, which is always good, and more kind of monthly or bi-monthly updates. So if you enjoyed that, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.